What is up, everybody? This is your boy, Red Nation. Uh, I'm sorry that I haven't been on YouTube. We're going to dive into some Uncharted 4 multiplayer. And here we go. So, I just picked up Uncharted 4 the day before I went on vacation. I went to Spencer, Massachusetts, right near Worcester, or Worcester, I should say. Um, had a phenomenal time. I obviously live in Florida right now, and I'm going to say that was probably one of the biggest sh culture shocks for me as far as the, the, the geology, the geography, I should say, of, of Massachusetts compared to the geography of Florida. Weather's different. Climate is completely on a different scale. And obviously the people... The people are phenomenal in Massachusetts. I'm not saying that the people in Florida aren't bad. You know, it's just, it's a different pace of living out there. And, you know, Worcester, <laughs> being one of the second biggest cities in Massachusetts, first being Boston, um, was really, really different than what I thought it was going to be, honestly. Um, way different than Tampa Bay, which is this current city that I'm right outside of. Um, shout out to all the Lightning fans. I'm sorry that the, the Lightning didn't make it, but let's get back on a topic. Um, so I was on vacation, and, you know, I, I really feel bad because I really haven't been making a lot of content. And that's, that's what I want to get back into, honestly, is I, I miss making YouTube content. That's unboxing, that's, that's even trying to upload more video game footage. I know I only uploaded one, and that was Plants vs. Zombies, and that was over two and a half months ago. I apologize. Um, really need to start getting back into, you know, just showing you guys some cool different content. So, obviously Uncharted came out. What do I think about the game? Well, I am only on the fourth chapter of the campaign. Truly love it. Uncharted was... You know, Uncharted 1, 2, and 3 were just such big games in my heart. Especially since, you know, Naughty Dog, Jack Dexter, Crash Bandicoot, nostalgic love for the company itself has really dawned upon me, you know. And picking this game up right before I went on vacation was probably the hardest thing I had to do. Because I was missing out on, on launch plays, you know, especially showing you guys the Libertaria Edition, which is the one I got. I will be showing it off. And, and some of the cool nifty things that I've gotten over the last month or two. And just to, just to give you guys kind of an insight on what I got. And, and just really kind of get back to who Red Nation, a.k.a. Red Clutches, really is. Um, Red Clutches, I, is just, you know, a normal average Joe. You know, from the heart of Chicago. And, and moved to Florida as a kid and just wants to be gaming wants to be YouTubing, wants to be connecting with the fans and, and, and really show them what's up. Um, kind of want to show you guys some of the footage that I've captured over the maybe month or two uh, of The Division. I mean, we got some crazy footage. I mean, going rogue has never been so fun. I really love that game. I have over seven days, I think, playtime. Um, just really love, I'm loving gaming, and I, I really miss gaming as much as I used to, and, and showing people what I love to do, and, I mean, that, there's no excuse for my absence, I'm not gonna lie, there really truly isn't, um, obviously, let, let me get back into what's going on screen, I, I got into my first match of Uncharted 4, this is it, this is the first match, this was last Wednesday, and I'm going to tell you right now, I was scared shitless. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect. I haven't played Uncharted in such a long time. I'm, I was terrified. The last multiplayer Uncharted game I played was 2. My buddy Ishka, Ishka HD, uh, he's on YouTube. I don't know if he's uploaded anything. I haven't talked to him in a while. I apologize, buddy. He is God mode at this game. He's God mode at, at all the Uncharted games and Last of Us. So, a shout out to him. Um, you know, I, I, had to do, I had to do it. Uncharted was coming. And it was the inevitable great game, you know, possibly of the year with perfect scores from uh, many different, you know, outlets. And I, I couldn't pass it up. And especially when I got the chance to pre-order the Libertaria Edition. Oh, uh, you best believe I was going to freaking be all over this game. I have really enjoyed it, like I said. Multiplayer is really tricky, I'm not going to lie. It's really fast paced. It's cover to cover, fast paced, run and gun at the same time. There's so much stuff going down on screen. As you can see, I think that was 
the uh, I don't know what it's exactly called, but it does like hit marker damage on you if you if you're right near it, and it actually can go around. But you got to be careful because it, it does splash damage, splash damage, and it could get you down. So the the game is awesome though. I mean, I really like the perks that the game has. I really like the weapons that this game has. The AK still being my favorite. I know the XCR, I think it's called, is, is a god mode weapon too. It's an assault rifle. Um, just a really cool game. I mean, a gorgeous game too. It, it, you can see how beautiful the details are in this multiplayer map alone. I mean, look at the little tree right there. Look at the, look at the, the statues, the... It's beautiful. The lighting effects, the 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 bullets hitting the 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 the, the environment. I mean, it's a great game. I, I really truly enjoy this game. I think I'm gonna get down. Oh, right clutches. What are you doing? Jumping in the corner. Stupid. But yeah, I mean, <sighs> I haven't been excited for a game in a while. And and Division was my last one, and then Uncharted came out, and I'm just I'm all over it. But. Another topic we're going to slowly creep into, speaking of video games, E3 is right around the corner. Your boy Red Nation is so excited for E3, I, I'm going to be screaming like a little girl when the game comes, you know, the game start unveiling. I mean, really, E3 is Christmas for me. June is Christmas for me because of E3. Um... Definitely going to be looking forward to some Battlefield 1 footage, some gameplay, I mean some real true gameplay. I'm going to be all over that. That that might be my multiplayer game of the year. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. I want to play you. I want you in my hands and, and, and I want, well it's going to be digital download, but I want the copy and I want to be playing the game. Unfortunately, I have to get Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. I'm not going to be shooting blanks in the dark at you, but I'm not really excited about Space Warfare. I'm just being honest. Black Ops 3 being a phenomenal game, but definitely don't really want to play some... Just let's, let's, let's not go there. Okay. Um, uh, what's another great game? Overwatch. I have not played Overwatch. I think I played five minutes of the beta. And, and had to go on vacation. So, please, should I get Overwatch? I mean, I'm going to have to talk to the girlfriend. Because she's, you know, we're, we're trying to move and stuff. And, and I definitely want to be playing that, though. I mean, maybe some of my, my guy fans and guy gals. I mean, not guy gals. Blah, stupid Red Nation. I'm sorry, guys and girls. Um, you know, some of the fangirls out there of Overwatch and fanboys of Overwatch. Let me know what's going on. Do you like the game? Would you recommend it to a friend? What What's the rating out of a 1 out of 10 scale just for you? And, and maybe a miniature breakdown. I miss talking to you guys and girls, and I really want to get to get involved some more, so let me know how Overwatch is. And, and also another great game that I would like to know about, um, Doom. Doom multiplayer, Doom campaign. Is it like the originals? I've only seen a, one or two reviews, and a lot of people are, are, are kind of mixed in, in what reviews like what, what what they honestly want to give the game because they're like it's nostalgic it's repetitive it's nostalgic it's repetitive the, this is overpowered this I understand those kinds of things really do impact the game but like I said I would like to in, I would like to to know a little more about the game I would like to play the game let me know let me stay updated from you guys and gals first you know hands on I, I really I mean I trust people that are reviewing the game but I mean to, for an average Joe and average gal that are gaming, they, they probably are right around my kind of, you know, guy and gal as far as letting me know what's what's going down, what's what's straight up. Is the game sucking or is it awesome? Um, look at this guy. <laughs> Fail. Headshot. <laughs> Get slammed on. Um, another game that's going to be coming right around the corner for sure that I'll be picking up and I will be doing an unboxing. It's a little further ways off. So you're going to have to bear with me is definitely going to be Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy 15 is right around the corner and I'm definitely excited for it. I've been waiting for a very, very long time. I'm a huge Final Fantasy fan. Um, just let me know what's going on. Again, like I said, guys and gals, I'm going to be wrapping up this video very shortly. Please. Stay in contact with your boy Red Nation. Smack that like button. Shouts out to Angry Member. I love you, man. Thank you for the Twitch streams that you do. Again, that's Angry Member, spelled just Angry Member, all caps, together, 
Check his footages. Check his footage out on Twitch. And just thank you for everything that you guys and gals do. I'll see you on the next one. And don't forget to smack that like button and subscribe. And please comment. Peace.